So this happened. So now I'm going to restore this. Never owned a plane before. They're actually quite easy to pretty much completely disassemble. That's all there is to that. Looks like that screw's bent. Oh! I don't know if I'll have to replace that or what. Jeez. I have fat hands if you, you know, didn't notice that. Sometimes I can't grip these little tiny things. First thing I'm doing is just knocking off the rust on the bottom of the shoe of the plane and then I'm reassembling everything so I can have the bolts tight and make sure that everything is kind of bent into place and then I'm sanding everything again being sure to check to make sure that the sides are roughly 90 degrees from the base of the sole. And then lastly I take the file and I round off any corners just in case there's any burrs I'm missing. After the shoe of the plane is sanded down to 150 grit finish. I'm taking the blade, I'm also starting out with 150 to grit, and then I'm moving on to the diamond stones, which start at 400 and then 600, moving up to 1000 and then 1200 would be my final finish. Lastly, I'm taking the blade and rubbing it on the back of my belt because it's the only leather I have. Okay, I'm gonna take this speed square and move it to 60 degrees right here. This will give me a reference to look at while I'm sanding because it's going to give me a 30 degree angle on the cut. I'm going to put this right on the granite so that I can use it as a reference to sand back and forth when I'm doing this bevel. This little line is an easy way to do this without a jig or anything purchased and it really does, if you're paying attention, keep track of the angle and gets it pretty good. This angle was pretty bad. I think it was modified to be a scrub plane at some point, but that's really not what I'm using it for. So it took a lot of sanding to get it all flat and up to the point where I can actually sharpen it. But you can see it did in fact get pretty sharp. Now at this point, I'm just doing kind of a final cleanup, kind of polishing a little bit the brass screws and things of that nature, making everything look a little bit better. I didn't fall on paint anything and restore it that way, but I just kind of wanted it to look clean without having any of the nostalgia lost. A really good way to get rid of this paint is to just hold a razor blade at about 90 degrees from what you're scraping and just scrape it off. And it came off pretty easy for the most part, other where there was a bunch of grime built up from uh, excessive use. I gave everything a nice thick coat of boiled linseed oil, and then I finally got to reassemble everything and then Give it a test run. It pretty much ran good the first shot. I had to lower the blade a little bit, but uh, yeah, it's pretty good. It's still kind of like a scrub plane to a point, but I like it. And here's a little stop motion without the, the rustic sepia look. And that's the end of it. Thanks for making it this far. Thanks for watching my video. I'll catch you on the next one.